What an absolute stunning day and morning. And today I'm out. Climbed, climbed, climbed. And that's what I intend to do. So stay with me and let's see what climbs I can do using the gain. Let's go. Who are you going to call Ghostbusters? <laughs> So I've got my first climb coming up now. Uh, as I've been saying the last few rides, I try and leave the assist off as long as possible. Might be a bit on and off on this ride because some climbs are bigger than others. So this one's quite steep at, steep at the beginning. Quite steep at the beginning, but gradual's out in the middle, and a little bit steep at the end. No power on yet. Fourteen percent that bit. <clears throat> I know that's wild now. I'll get back to you at the top. Yeah, so that's the first climb complete. Uh, where I live. It's it's at the sea, but to get out of it, you've got to go over a big climb wherever you go. So, probably unless you go down the course road, but then there's still a few little climbs down there. So, I've done quite a bit of a steep climb already. Literally two minutes from the house. So, I'm only four and a bit miles into my ride and I've already done four biggish climbs ranging between 10% and 14%. Just shows how crazy it is where I live. So like I said, nothing is flat in Cumbria, nothing. i will not put the assist on so I've got another climb coming here. Just climb, climb, climb. Everywhere. Oh, find that a little bit now, seven percent. <clears throat> I've got another three hundred feet remaining of climbing. I'm only four miles in. <laughs> Mental. <laughs> Just coming into Martin, and uh, this is where the big red climb comes in. And probably, I'd say, the hardest climb I've got to do today. If you're interested in what the uh, Climb Pro puts it down as, but I reckon it's at least 15 16%. Ramps up in a minute. Now, look at that, it's like a brick wall. You know what it's like on camera. Got that log here. Don't 
10 percent to now 12 and rising 13 a few more gears yet <laughs> tell you what I'm a breathing but I might as well breath the last time I come here Ah, oh, that was a climb. It said 13 on the GoPro, but uh, pro on the Garmin, but uh, I'm almost certain it would have been around the 16, I reckon. It's a steeper than the other area, and that was same 13, so we'll see. Uh, that was the hardest climb of the day, anyway, so. I'm going to take you into these beautiful views I've got now and then we'll carry on going up. Let's go. So there's a better view of the reservoir, a bit higher up. I'm stopping it from going down. And then shipyard, barren furnace. It's a bit hazy, but usually you can see right over a black pool on that. Sometimes you can see Snowden on a clear day. So yeah. I'm only about six miles in and I've done, what, a thousand feet of climbing in six miles. That is just barmy. I just wish I did live in Kent sometimes. Uh, I mean, this is just coming out of my town, a barra, just to get anywhere up the lakes. This, you know, if I followed this road, carry on going, you get to Coniston, but I'm not going as far as that today, but it's just mental. That's when the game comes in handy though. Anyways, let's get going off that way. Rolling hills, as the eye can see. Not had one single car on any of these roads up to now. That looks stunning down there. I think I'm going to go down that way. Just see the road going, dropping down at the sea. Fancy that, looks beautiful. So that's the road home. So yeah, that's six climbs done. And the biggest question I get asked when these are beer gains is how long does the battery last? How many miles you can get out of it? Well, if I told you I've done about 10 miles today and I'm down to 60% battery left. You probably think, God, you don't get a lot, do you? But that's why you can't really answer the question because I've done over probably 1,500 feet of climbing in, in within six miles. And a lot of it was steep. So you have the battery on full whack. So you haven't even got them media climbs four or 5% where you can probably just get away with not having any assist. So, the answer to the question is if you've got big climbs wherever you go it might not last you a long time but if you live down Kent or anywhere flat it could last you 100, 150 miles so that's to answer your question but anyways we're going down here now I've done my climbs for the day nice big huge descent down at Overstand and then back home so let's get filming this and see what this is like because it looks beautiful Some view that. 
some there some climbing to them and uh, some descending So that's today's video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've come back up as you can see a little bit, but uh, yeah, did about six climbs, so I was well impressed with that. I've used 50% of the battery, like, but what have I done? 14 miles, <laughs> it's nothing. It just shows how if you want to go climbs, it's not going to last a lot. The battery, but anyways, I've enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one.